with this uh, VDM matter. Uh, firstly, um, I would say that VDM is somebody that I would forever respect on some certain aspects. Very dark black man should be made an ambassador in Nigeria, should be a health ambassador, and should be an NDLA ambassador also. It should be a NAFDAQ ambassador also. Very dark black man has saved the lives of millions of Nigerians with his advocacy as regards uh, this NAFDAQ numbers and everything. One of the places that very dark black man will keep on getting hate is from the people that do skincare businesses, people that do um, drinks businesses, people that also do uh, mostly called drugs businesses, I mean medicine and all of that. So this man right here has ensured that on our social media platforms in Nigeria, you have seen less adverts of skincare products. This man here has educated and enlightened Nigerians such that if you want to buy any product, you look out for the NAFDAQ number. This man here, Air Vendors too, thanks for reminding me. This man here has made me more educated because um, one thing is an enlightened because um, I go by this policy, the more I know, the more I realize I know nothing. So because of very dark black man, um, I was able to, to go and read what he re the requirements for NAFDAQ. I've hmm. gone to go and read because as a manufacturing engineer, so I understand all of these raw materials into finished goods and refining them and all of that. So these products that are being made should go through what is called good manufacturing practices. It's called GMP. And also, um, you also look at the certificate of analysis. It's called C of A. So any product that comes in, you must have that full um, breakdown. Like this is the amount. This is the amount of whatever chemical is in there. And that is why Navdat said about 70 to 80% of the drugs that come into Nigeria are fake, counterfeit. So many of us in Nigeria are using counterfeit drugs in Nigeria because they say the C of A is even fake. So why am I put I'm putting this out there because I'm putting this out there because you need to understand just like the uh, cabal of uh, what's it called of gasoline that is fuel cabal the subsidy cabal that is fighting the Nigerian government today is the same type of cabal that's also fighting very dark black man the air, air vendor cabal the skincare cabal skincare business cabal the uh, drugs cabal and also the uh, fake drinks and all of those things cabal they busted a place in trade fair i'm from that side in lagos 250 million naira worth of goods that he frees i think i don't know if i sent it to you they busted the place yesterday that if it's what are nigerians putting in their bodies and our life expectancy is 54 years why won't our life expectancy not be 54 years we're having um, um cases cancer cases going up in nigeria day on day year on year i see very dark black man in that light now there are so many things that i don't agree i mean not some so many things i don't agree with his uh, political lining and inclination i don't agree with his economic stance because when he speaks i just get turned off because it's like very dark black man you need to get more education on this you don't know what you are saying about this I, I see it and i always say that content creators please this is an advice for all content creators in nigeria before you put that material out there get somebody that has um, common sense get someone that has that is somewhat enlightened and educated in that line let them vet it let them vet it when they vet it, they go say, okay, let's push it forward. Because if, if very dark black man understands that Nigeria is paying one point, used to pay $1.5 billion monthly to subsidize dollar, that's why dollar was 450 or 700 during Buhari's regime, he will not come out and say that. If he understands that, if he understands the, the fuel subsidy and the cabal thing going on and all that, he will not come and say they increase fuel price. That's why I disagree with him. Also, when he makes 
outlandish statements at times. You need to watch mm how you make statements from a defamatory standpoint. Now, that is, I'm going to say something very controversial here. Don't, Todike is an enemy of the state. I'm uh, uh, saying it with my own chest. My sister, oh, you know, if you talk, I'm like that. So. And that it is, I, it is, I am accountable for what I said. I am saying it because Tontodike, I am saying it because Tontodike does advertisements for, for products that don't have NAFDAQ registration. And it's a fact. And damn means she's selling bad products to Nigerians that's going to KILL Nigerians, neutralize Nigerians. And that goes for every other person in Nigeria that is intentionally selling products, advertising products that don't have SON registration. That is standard organization of Nigeria. Maybe that if we some, someday I would, would do like a, a full pro, I will explain how all of these things work. Because if you are bringing something from outside of Nigeria, for example, um, um, NAFDAQ is supposed to even go there to where they are making the products and they are supposed to look, look at the good manufacturing practices that you are employing like what kind of equipment are you using to make this product where are your ingredients these, hmm. these things are happening Bob Risky, Idris Bob Risky is even a friend to my brother my blood brother, the same father, the same mother Bob, Bob Risky does advertisements for what's he called, for all these uh, multiple products do they have not that registration? That if freeze, Nigeria has she's become so dangerous. Hey. What did you say? You might not agree. You can say she's an enemy. You can say. That if freeze, that if freeze, I am. No, that if freeze, I'm saying in my full chest, it is not a defamatory statement. It's a statement of fact. I'm trying to explain to Nigeria the meaning of being defamatory and making a statement of fact. And I challenge her and every other person so i'm calling every other nigerian i'm calling all of them it's not just i alone and i said the likes of them if you intentionally advertise products that don't have NAFDAQ registration what are you doing to nigeria and or nigerians this is the same mentality with air vendors this is the same mentality with people that import bad drugs from southeast asia i know where they break these drugs from this is the same people that are also making products, um, counterfeit products, Don Julio. Sky Senat said he drank 10 shots of Casamigos. He thought he was drinking water. He wasn't high or anything. These things are damaging our systems. Daddy Freeze, there's going to be a health pandemic coming in Nigeria in the next 10 years. So if BDM comes in and is fighting that industry, I feel in that line, we all should support vdm in this fight i mean on that one now when it comes to his politics respectfully it does is not well enlightened as regards that when it comes to how he may convey his message with the things he says he can make defamatory statements like i think in my opinion he was called for questioning and what he said about the police and senators and the city that statement that he made is a civil matter it's not a criminal matter. It's a, it's a civil it's a civil matter. It's not a criminal matter. So they're going to call him for questioning. And he already apologized the day, the day after he made that statement. So in my opinion, the people that are fighting Bobo, uh, sorry, that are fighting BDM, are the, it's a cabal. And that is why a lot of our, our moments, our ladies in court, do not always support him. Daddy, please. Nigeria is a, our society where we have to say Nigeria is a... Oh, I'm going so much down, please. Respectfully. I don't know who that... Sorry? Okay. Nigeria... Nigeria is a place where we have made illegality legal. Things they dare not try in the Western world, they try it in Nigeria. Daddy, please, we're in this nation where some people will put different chemicals and mix it in a, what they call basia. What you about call basia. Somebody and should, you mix it. And I think it's are doing organic, Somebody here. Yeah. You are making organic cream. Where, where is the good manufacturing practice there? Do you have NAFDAQ registration? The standard organization of Nigeria, do you have a certificate that it frees? Have you seen what, what it requires for you to, to actually sell your products in Nigeria? Can you tell me that that lady selling something in the Basia can actually um, meet 
that standard or a guy that is doing that can meet that standard you know when you throw a phone into a market it may hit your family member there are a lot of people that have suffered from health issues because of the things that is consumed in nigeria that is counterfeit and that is how, how i will forever see very dark black man now all the other things that he does we can trash it out we can like decipher it and all of that i don't agree and i've said it here how he conveys his message he needs to get somebody that would refine it and um, he needs to be watchful of his utterances and also get more education and enlightenment on economic and or political matters because he has a very strong and organic influence and i heard this out from your platform and i i wish him the very best i rest my submission for now that is free thank you very much sabio um, I can't see over case, but I'm greeting him. I think he's online. Egbon, I greet everybody. Thank you. Sabio, let me go. Yes. Yes. So, DF, um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to add a little bit for just two minutes because um, Bongoli have exhausted and treated this very well. Actually, um, Bongoli caught me off guard because he started from the very good parts of a very dark man. And uh, I wanted to alight something before him. He then went on to, to treat the other part. Mm -hmm. First of all, I totally agree with um, Bongoli. In fact, just for your record, DF, even you don't know this, when very dark man was first invited by the police, he's going to see this video she go and check if you look at my profile i personally sent him a message he don't know me from adam i told him he's still in, inside his box but i don't think he ever read it i said if you need support that i'm struggling behind you because i hate oppression okay so i don't know him i don't need any favor from him but i just want to let you know that it's not about coming here to talk or as well I was one of those who also support what Bogoli is saying and was ready to fight for Very Dark Man because my understanding when I got to hear about Very Dark Man was a guy fighting for a good cause. So I don't want to flog that issue. So I agree with Very Dark Man on that one. However, recently I saw a video of Very Dark Man that got on me. And this 